begin with, what we've done at Studio GPU since we've re-envisioned what was possible in terms of how to talk to the GPU, uh, and we were pushing the limits on it, uh, we had to have a lot of support in terms of what we're going to do. So everything from the shading pipelines and lighting pipelines, uh, having to do with hardware, with the actual hardware tessellation, and all kinds of very interesting algorithms that uh, AMD ATI already uh, had, and in collaboration with our engineers uh, to maximize using that those algorithms and that hardware. So we've we've uh, we're pushing the limits. There's a similar spirit there because obviously the people at ATI are pushing the, the limit in terms of the hardware, and we want to push the limit in terms of the software. So it's been a perfect collaboration. Just finished producing an animated feature with a 75-minute uh, animated feature straight to DVD, uh, and we were able to uh, do uh, lighting, materials, and final rendering in a minute a week with final rendering per per artist. So you have a lighter uh, who is sitting at the tool again, uh, the, the, the metaphor of the, the musician with his instrument, um, and produce final shots without any render farm in HD quality at about a minute a week. Now I'm speaking like a producer, but those are some pretty serious numbers for a single person to do. And 90% uh, of those shots did not need any compositing. Because what we're doing is uh, the render passes, which include depth of field, and high dynamic range, and multiple light sources, and all the things that go into making a final image. The yeah, ambient occlusion, blooms, etc. These are things that would normally be put together in composite. So just on the workflow arrangement where uh, even if we have a two second shot with a few characters, uh, right now those, the characters would be lit by different lighters or the same lighters on different layers and the background would be uh, lit in a different layer and the whole shot would come together in composite. Effects like depth of field and motion blur and high dynamic range would be done by the compositor. Unless of course uh, you're one of the top, like the four big studios that can, don't have the same restrictions like the rest of the world. But in any case, those shots were coming in, finished without composite, in about a minute a week. So it's un, it's an unbelievable shift in the in the workflow and, and the artistic the artistic flow of a product. So the, so the GPU is the foundation of the software that we've built. Without the GPU, there would be no outlet for what we've created. We come from content, and this is the heart of the production industry. And in developing our software, we wanted to meet the needs of real content creators, so that the people who have touched this development can only be found in Hollywood. <laughs> you're only you're, you're going to meet those cast of characters here. You know, those Da Vinci-like characters are here, where science and art meet traditionally in Hollywood, in the film business, in the content creation business, in the visual effects business, it's here. So we've been able to not only uh, collaborate with those people in terms of creating the product, it uh, keeps us real in terms of uh, what, what, uh, what this community needs to, to do their work.